So the fall is here, and that means busy schedules, kids to school, kids to sports practice, very limited time. So we have some quick and easy breakfast options that we're going to show you guys how to make. My friend Jenny Rodriguez is here today, and Jenny and I are more like sisters than we are friends because we work together. Um, so she's going to help us do these really quick recipes that you can either make ahead of time or you can make it in the morning time. It's really quick and fast, get the kids off to school and you off to work on time. So the first thing that we are going to do, wash our hands really good, front and back, scrub really well for about 20 seconds. After you do that, you want to dry thoroughly, and then we can start our process with cooking. Make sure you take all of your utensils out first, your bowls, your spoons, your measuring spoons, your knives, cutting board, whatever you may need. So we did a little bit of this in advance. So we have the sweet potatoes. You can pick about four or five sweet potatoes. They are full of beta carotene, which is really good for our eyes and for eye development, but they also grow in the fall, so they should be at a cheaper price at the store. So you take your sweet potatoes, you rinse them off with any dirt or debris that may be on there, put them on a tray, and you place them in your oven at 400 degrees for about 45 minutes. So we have some of those ready. So Jenny's going to show us and take them out. Do you typically bake sweet potatoes at home, Jenny? Yes, but this recipe is very interesting. It is very <laughs> interesting. So it's a breakfast sweet potato, so we're going to add some good things that are going to have protein and fiber to keep you full and last a little bit longer throughout the day. So we're each going to have one of those sweet potatoes, one on your plate and then one on mine. And then kids can help with this, but be very careful if they're using the knife to make sure that you're there with them. So we're going to take that knife and we're just going to cut an X on the top of each potato. And this is just so we can fill it up and put all of our little goodies on the inside and get all the good toppings. And then we're going to take a fork and just like you would normally do, we're going to fluff up the inside. So you're going to where that's scored. You're just going to take your fork and then you're going to fluff up and create an area inside the sweet potato where you can put in yogurt and apples and all kind of good stuff that you see we have here today. Right, so we have a good hole that we've created here. And so these are our toppings that we have chosen to put in our sweet potato. So we have some Greek yogurt full of protein. We have apples, pick your choice, red or green. It's gonna give you lots of fiber. You can put that in there. We have a little bit of the toasted coconut. And if you would like, we have some optional maple syrup if you need a little bit of extra sweetness on that. And so we can choose whatever apple that we like. So here's the red bowl and the green bowl. I'll let you choose since you're my guest. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Oops. All right. So I got some red. And can I have a little bit of the green too? Make it colorful. And typically when you're cooking with kids, they do like things that are colorful. So if you help, if you let them be a part of the process, um, kids are more likely to eat a little bit more as well as adults. So we have some toasted coconut here that we're going to use to sprinkle a little bit of that on top. And you can take the coconut and put it in the oven for about a minute or two on broil just so you get a nice brown and a little bit of a crunch to it. And then lastly, we're going to take that maple syrup and we're going to drizzle that on there. And Jenny and I are going to give this a taste and let you know what it's like. Yummy. Looks delicious. All right. Ready? Try I'm it. I'm ready. I'm excited. I'm excited too. This is my first time really trying it. So I got a little bit of everything on there. Mmm. Awesome. This is really good. Mm -hmm. Really, really good. So now you know how quick and easy this can be done overnight, five minutes in the morning, and you're done.